Play piano from 1913. How does it work? The most intriguing thing on a link piano is this endless music roll. Other piano rolls are spooled, they play, they rewind. This is endless. So the music's programmed on a music roll, just like a regular player piano. It has a set of pipes that play along with the piano, and the piano also has what's known as a mandolin effect, which is this here. A little curtain of steel buttons that go down in front of the keys. And give it that. Down below is the real heart of the mechanism. Starts with this coin switch here. This is a complicated mechanism that actually energizes the nickel when it is first dropped in. It was done to get around a patent. That trips a switch that starts the motor. The motor drives a ground belt just like on a sewing machine. It operates this pump. Now this is a combination vacuum and pressure pump. Vacuum for the player mechanism that reads the roll and plays the piano and operates all the effects. Air pressure, the exhaust from the vacuum system, blows the pipes. When it notices an inrush of air from the hole in the roll, it snaps a bellows shut, which collapses and plays a note on the piano. So as this operates, it's pumping the air out of the mechanism, causing air pressure, our atmospheric pressure, to actually operate the machines. The shifter. This selects the different effects like the pipes, the mandolin, and the soft rail, which raises the hammer rail up. This side cancels them. Now you'll see that some stay on while others go off, and how they do that is these three pneumatics all work at the same time, but they're smaller than the ones on this side. So the on overrides the off. If they want to cancel the soft rail, and keep something else on, cancel will hit. If they want to keep it on while something else cancels, on goes on, off doesn't do anything because this pneumatic is smaller, less power. Coin boxes have this little door on them. If I can do this so you can see it, open a catch, open the door, and ready? 